so let's take a look at this image right we have two different colors which is the white and the somehow reddish brown and we have two boxes within these two colors just take a step back and try and look at these small boxes within these colors you if your eye is correct enough no offense you realize these colors are the same but from the very beginning you will think oh um the one in the whiter background is more saturated or darker than the one in the reddish brown background but i would love to prove you wrong by doing this picking up my eye picker to with the color selection just take a look at this take a look at the values over here when i tap on this i hope you see the values hue of 22 saturation of 39 brightness of 44 when i tap here too it's still the same thing this shows you how different your eye perceives um, colors and how you go about color grading or color correcting your images so taking a very long look at this your eye begins to adjust to these colors hey what's up youtube welcome back to the channel this is kojo joey and in today's video i will be teaching you how to color correct or skin correct your images in photoshop and before i do that i would want to hit on three points because in today's video i'll be helping you correct your your workflow should i say workflow your workstation in photoshop show you how to scan correct your images using some tools or some adjustment layers in photoshop and show you how to use selective coloring to bring back the kind of mood or the kind of feel you want in your picture so let's just get to today's video but hey before that kindly subscribe to my youtube channel like i always say turn on the bell notification icon for any future uploads and smash the like button at the end of this video because i know you probably learn something new from this and don't forget to leave your comments below if you didn't get anything right so maybe i didn't say anything that you think should have been in this video so looking at this like i said your eye has to adjust to this so before i get into today's video let me show you what i will teach you like definitely what you should do i'm suggesting you should do this because it will help you in your workflow you realize the background of photoshop is kind of dark i don't know what kind of shade this dark is but it's this is set to the default normally it's good to have different shades of colors to be able to toggle between like to toggle through so that you can see definitely how your image looks in each different background like this image this looks different here and looks different there so to be able to determine your neutral colors normally it's white 50 percent gray and blacks these three colors or should i say non colors well depending on how you want to put it these three colors will show you if your image is if your image is looking as clean as possible or is looking as bad as possible so the very first thing you should do is you know in photoshop there are three modes you can toggle between the desktop mode the halfway full screen mode and the very full screen mode right so with this you would want to set your default mode, which is the desktop mode to white and by doing that right click on the dark background go to select custom color and push it into white this is the first one then in the second one when you go to medium gray medium gray is different from 50 percent gray so i'll suggest you go to select custom color again and change this to 128 128 and the b also to 128 and take a look at this initially they were saying medium gray which is 50 percent gray if you understand english enough sorry but putting in those values you get to see the difference between that gray and this gray and the last one obviously you set it to pitch black or you can go to select ca custom color and just move it to pitch black and you're good to go so these will help you with the neutral uh, um, area in your eye so if i have this i'll say this is my highlight to to be able to see my highlighted areas or clip my highlighted areas this is for my midtones to see how 
the colors will look and this will be for my shadows so rgb but in my own way highlights midtones and shadows now let's go away from this image let's come to the very first image i want us to color correct so i've retouched this this the, the images i'll be showing up here i got from fellow photographers i'll link their instagram handle down below just check them out they're really great i got this from pixelate i got this from parkwisi and this is from a competition on, online from tina eisen so yeah looking at this let's toggle between the various modes so this is the highlighted part or should i say the white part this is the middle gray or 50 percent gray and this is the dark part so this will definitely show me how my images will look if someone is using an over bright phone or overly um, bright whatever screen you're using when someone is using a fit like an even uh, um, brightness between 50 percent too bright 50 percent too dark and a very dark phone so as i toggled between these you realize that the images look different as time goes on just take a look at the shadows here you don't get to see the shadows because the whites are what playing with your eyes when we come here this is a neutral ground so we get to see definitely how some of the shadows and the highlights are playing around and basically see how the midtones are and in this darker area this darker view actually helps you to see too much details in the shadows so you see your eyes your eyes keep on playing with you and you definitely get to see how the image looks through the three toggled modes but most of the time i like this mode because when i can move around pan around move the image in where i want so yeah but for you to be able to toggle between these modes you can either use this over here or just tap on f on the keyboard and it will change for you so yeah let's get to the second part which is color correcting so i've actually retouched this image right if if you've practiced enough you'll be able to let's say eyeball it with the color correction or um any other thing any other stuff you want to do in photoshop so i did i did the camera adjustment or a raw adjustment in photoshop using camera raw and that's what i got right this is the before and after retouching and color grading and everything i got this so with the color correction i'm about to show you right now you can either do it before retouching or after retouching just to if, if you want to see the difference do it before the retouching and do it after the retouching but i want to show you after retouching if i want to further color correct this image so there's a difference between color correction and color grading so in this video i want to show you color correction and maybe in the next video i'll show you color grading so color correction the very first thing you should do is just create a new layer right let's say gray 50 percent gray so just gray fill this layer hold control oh so, sorry hold shift and backspace and change this to 50 percent gray that's what you get right then we change the blending mode from normal to difference this shows us the difference between um the background uh, sorry the highlighted parts of the image and the shadow parts of the image and gives us the gray areas in this particular image so we, to be able to select the gray areas here i'll pick up or I'll select this adjustment layer the threshold adjustment layer and make sure my threshold level is at two so yeah right now you're not seeing anything if your eyes are sharp enough you get to see some dots on the screen so these spotted areas let's move it to one and see what will happen sorry one let's see if we we'll get any spotted areas in here all right so one doesn't give us any spotted areas there so at two there are some spotted areas here on this image and this is what you should do pick up your eyedropper to change the sample size to point sample zoom in to that particular pixel hold shift and just click on that pixel you get to have this pointer here the next thing you need to do is just delete 
the two adjustment layers we just created and taking a look at this take a look at the rgb values so normally if your um, your image has been color corrected it's supposed to be within the ranges of 128 or 127 because um, 256 divided into 2 256 is the highest color which is white i'm showing you 255 sorry i normally say 256 255 is the highest color which is white and the uh, half of white if i should send this to zero to black everything becomes zero if i should send this to 50 percent gray which so which is the neutral color right this means like it's neutral let me put it out it's just neutral right so this this value these values are supposed to be in your head to know it's between blacks and white and that's the neutral color so when you divide 255 by 2 you either get 127.5 and 127.5 approximately is 128 so yeah so looking at these values after i pinpointed the sample over here looking at these values i have r which is the red to be in 128 my greens to be in 128 and my blues to be in 127 so right from the onset this image is color corrected but if you want to further color correct it more this is what you do let's just move these properties here so that it shows you pick up your curves to or curves adjustment layer good old curves yep let's open this move the curves here pick up this too which is the gray point here sample in image to set gray point then just click on this so if you take a look at what the curves has done and the earlier pinpointed point you realize the values are almost close so this shows that after my retouching and my color grading i actually sent this image close to neutral and i did a very good work with my skin correction note skin correction and skin grading are different you realize i didn't select the skin it's on the outfit and this is 50 percent gray of the outfit so fine let's move this let's move to another image so let's pick this go into my favorite toggle mode and do the same thing with it but i've already created an action for that i hope i'll put it there for you guys so color correction and i have this when i zoom in to check for the spotted areas yeah i think i have one here i drop out to i on the keyboard hold shift pick a sample now let's delete this color correction box hold curves adjustment gray point area and looking at the points we have here these are the values right so i've picked this and i'll just tap on this and wow just take a look and now i have my reds to be in 129 my greens in 128 my blues in 128 so the only off point is my red let me zoom out and show you what's happening so this is the before and this is the after this is the before and after so before too much reds after less reds so we have to go into the reds since we want our values to be what um 128 just tap on this sorry you see before i came in here if i should move my cursor around the point over here you realize my input value is at 128 exactly 127 128 and my output is within the same range so make sure your input and output is at the same place mm, sorry I think I need to move this to oh, yeah, 128. Now let's move the set value. You see, I think after touching this, I made a mistake. All right, so we have our value at 129 here. Using the arrow keys, which is the up and down, if I move the point up, I'm moving towards 131 right now. Just keep your eye on this. When I move it down, I'm still at 129. When I move it down again, I'm now at 127 so initially i mentioned your values are supposed to be between 128 and 127.5 and 127.5 is approximately what's 128 so now we have color corrected this image so yeah this 
looks better now but you know color grading so this is where color grading comes in color grading comes with moods right so the mood you want to keep the picture in is what you color grade this picture so we will get there very soon i just want to move to the very third image we will come back to color grading or maybe i'll do that in the next video so yeah to take this clip out just hold shift and alt on the keyboard you get this success over here and just clip it away and that's it so this image has been scan corrected right so this is the before and this is the after so if you want the selection to just happen on the skin all you have to do is just what mask the skin with what this mask layer yeah great so let's move to the third image which is this one then we'll call it a day so you're looking at this oh you you like the mood you like the retouch and everything this is the before and this is the after i think i did some um grading and capture if i brought it into photoshop but hey let's do what we have to do so play the action which i showed you before now we have a lot of pinpointed areas here i zoom in to any one of them right hold shift and select this point now looking at this i just want to delete this color correction folder and take a look at the readings the readings are reds are in the 130s greens 129 blues 125 so they are a bit way off right now let's pick our curves gray point area and set it to that now let's see what we have here 128 128 127 great very great now let's do a quick before and after before and after before and after so this image has been what skin corrected like i said skin correction can be done before the whole retouching process or after the retouching process i prefer doing it after i don't know why but i prefer it it's my personal preference so maybe your personal preference will be before what your skin retouching and your color grading and everything but hey this this looks cool but you guys already know me i like to after all this i'll still reduce my opacity yeah and we're good to go so thank you for joining on this video i hope you learned something new and something great give me a thumbs up if this content was informative for you and don't forget to subscribe as usual don't forget to follow me on my instagram handle too and i'll see you in the next video peace